Patrol Cap Chronicles. It's a beautiful day, actually. Oh, beautiful day. Chuck, you got the sound switch. Today's topic is going to be on SLC. Yes, that's right, SLC. SLC, for those of you do, who do not know, SLC stands for Senior Leaders Course. So in the Army, there's certain classes that we have to go to, NCOES schools that we have to go to, to progress to get to the next rank. Oh, before I get started, this is going to be an Army Strictly related video. So if you don't feel like watching, then that's okay. But for those of you who are interested in knowing what SLC is and the things that I went through and the things that you would have to go through if you're promotable, SAS aren't promotable, then continue watching. Um, so SLC. SLC is a senior leaders course for e which is a staff sergeant promotable or a staff sergeant who is looking to get promoted to sergeant first class. This school is required before you can get pinned to E7. Um, there's different waivers, there's different units who require or who does who do not require you to go to SLC before you can get pinned. But the thing is you still have to get selected based off your sequence number. So let me give you an example. In SFAB, I'm an SFAB, I have a sequence number. If my sequence number passed I could get pinned without going to SLC. Or if I'm deployed, I'm in a deployed environment and I can't go to SLC, they will pin me if my sequence number passed or either they'll send me back to the States so I can attend SLC. A lot of units don't send their soldiers back to the States. They just wait until they get back and then they can go to SLC. Um, so SLC, I thought it was going to be a little chill, a little relaxing, a little lenient. I mean, at the end of the day, we feel like we're seniors. But when you show up, baby, them SGLs do not play. Um, you have to be professional at all times. You have to be respectful at all times. And I'm going to just say the SGLs don't play. I mean, it's just like being back at uh, basic training. And we all know how basic training went and how um, basic training was when we first showed up and went to basic training. So, for the 92 series MOSs, a lot of the times, or majority of the time, your school will be at Fort Lee in Virginia, Petersburg, Virginia. Um, a lot of the times, you will end up staying at the IHG Express Hotel, but there are different barracks and different hotels that some of you might have to stay at only because the IHG Hotel across from the AOU schoolhouse is just too packed, it's too booked. And I remember when I was in AOC, which is the advanced leaders course, I remember I had to drive back and forth to and from a hotel to show up for PT, to go shower, and to show up for class that same day. I had to drive. It was really, really exhausting because the days are early, and even though we get off at 5, I mean, you're just still tired. If you think about it, getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning and not finishing class until 5, you're exhausted, you're tired. Especially when you're sitting in the classroom all day. All right. So SLC, day zero. You guys, usually we have to check in a day or two before the start of day zero. So like if you're overseas, if you're coming from Alaska, Japan, Hawaii, places like that, you usually show up on like a Saturday or a Sunday. You're going to have a jet lag. You're going to be tired. And you check into the hotel. And then that following Monday, we have day zero. On day zero, we are getting height and weight, um, and then we go change to our OCPs and we start our POI for the day. But on day zero, we also have our very first accountability formation. The for first formation is usually at 0, 430, and from 430 to about 0, 530, we're sitting there waiting because the SGLs are trying to get us in our perspective groups. We're trying to see, okay, this is 92 Yankees. You guys fall over here. This is 92 Whiskey. You guys are going to come over here. This is 92 Golf. You guys will form up over here. So we always like separated um, within our own platoons based on our MOS on the blacktop. And the blacktop, they usually call it that, but it's actually the basketball court. So when people say, oh, go to the blacktop or we're going to have formation at the blacktop, it's the actual basketball court. Okay. 
So day zero, we did height and weight. And just be mindful that when they say black socks for the height and weight, when you take your shoes off, they mean black socks. No logos on the tip, no logos on the bottom, no logos on the top. Granted, you're not going to have logos from your ankle and up. But when you take your shoe off, if they see any logos there, they say they're going to start giving out counseling statements. So just be mindful when you buy your socks from Walmart or Marshalls or Ross or anywhere else that you decide you want to buy your black socks from. They need to be all black. No logos. Period. All right, that's day zero. After that, um, day two, day three, and on forward, we're basically going over PRT. Uh, PRT and in-ranks inspection. You will have time to study with somebody. You will have time to rehearse. You will have time to do your PRT and in-ranks inspection when you get out of class, if you decide you want to study it. If you don't, it's going to show. I mean, you just have to take the time. You just have to remember, like, my grade is going to reflect based off if I felt like studying or not, if I felt like being lazy or not, if I felt like, you know, doing this with my partner or not. And also another thing is the class is very mixed. Um, we come from different places, different backgrounds. Some of us are introverts. Some of us are extroverts. Some of us talk a lot of us or some of us don't. You just have to try to get along. But at the end of the day, I feel like the classes are going to be segregated just because you have people who talk a lot and you just have people that's kind of like standoffish, quiet, don't mess with me. I'm cool. Like, let me come here to get my 10th and 9 and, you know, I'm out. Um, I'm, I talk a lot. I really do talk a lot. So for the most part, I got along with everybody, but there were some students who I just didn't associate myself with and, and that's okay. Um, because at the end of the day, like I said, you have to be respectful and you have to be uh, mindful because the SGLs are watching at all times. All right. So, I covered PRT, I covered in-ranks inspection. So another th big thing is when you first, within the first week, I say day two, day three, you're gonna have to volunteer. And a lot of people didn't wanna raise their hands because they were scared they were gonna get called out to do something that they didn't wanna do. But when I tell you, you have to, like you just have to know that when you're coming to a school, you have to give your best in order to receive the best from an SGL. So when they say who wants to be the photo, um, who want to be in charge of the photo, who want to be in charge of um, the breakfast and where we go to eat breakfast, who wants to be the class leader, assistant class leader, all of those things are going to count. It's going to show you a 10th and It's going to show when time to get graded. Um, so just be mindful that, granted, you know, they're saying, hey, who want to do this? Who don't? Who want to do that? Don't sit there and just be like, oh my God, here we go. We got something. Like, no, I don't want to do it. Nah, you good. It's going to show. The issue is going to be watching you. So at the end of the day, if I were you, I would volunteer. It's just that simple. Okay, you figure out who you need to contact to take the class photo. It's just that simple. Um, you get volunteer points. And uh, there's also a class project. You get points for that as well. So I covered PRT, air ranks inspection, um, and volunteer. So another thing I will say is that we have two tests. We have two tests on the regulations and we had tests on something else. I forget what it was called, but they were both, uh, for the most part, they were easy. I mean, a lot of people um, get nervous about taking tests. Some people just can't take tests well. And that's also based on um, how good of a studier you are, how dedicated you are, and if you really want to go about getting a good grade. I mean, but I will say that if, you know, you are from a different background, it could be challenging. It could be hard for some people because they just, they're just they just not used to, you know, studying. English is their second language, I would say that. I would say that English is not their primary or first language, so it's pretty hard for them. Um, so we have two tests, and then we also can pay for a SO certificate that goes on our SRB, that's $50. We also have the option to do a CLA, um, it's free. And that can go on your SRB as well. Another thing, okay, trips. So being that we are in Fort Lee, there's a lot of things that are close, like Washington. Um, Y'all see Phoenix hand in the background. He's supposed to be laying down, taking a nap. Why he's up in here while I'm recording a video, I have no clue. But um, Washington was like two hours away. You don't even need a, a mileage pass for that. But uh, if your friends, if y'all get together and y'all plan something, go to D.C., you can see the Martin Luther King Monument, you can see the White House. It's a lot of things, a lot of, it's, uh, a lot of sightseeing. It's going to take at least a day or two. So if you decide to drive up on a Friday after class or a Saturday morning, it's only two hours. If you want to do an Airbnb, I'll leave the link below for the Airbnb that me and my classmates stayed in. Um, we consolidated our money together 
and we just pay for it together. The more people that go, the less it's going to be for you um, if you guys decide to stay in an Airbnb. Um, what else? restaurants there are a lot of restaurants when i tell you we ate out literally every day we ate out almost every day because um it's very hard cooking in the room we just have a flat stove uh there's not a lot that you can cook within that room and it stinks too depending on what you're cooking so a lot of the times me and the classmates we went out to eat we went to sedona's kroger spots buffalo wild wings we went to the movies we went to a uh, texas roll house that was a good one they just opened up a Boiling Bay, which we wasn't able to go to because they had just opened it. Uh, Chicken Fiesta, that's a good one as well. Um, it just, there's a mall as well. And then there's a mall at Short Pump. It's like an indoor slash outdoor mall that you can go to with different levels. Um, the Cheesecake Factory. Just look up some of the things that you might be interested in. And I'm quite sure that area has it. But again, I will leave a link to all of these places in the description box. Um if you guys decide you want to go there. Also, let's see, PT. Oh my goodness, you guys. We had a CASCOM run, we had a AOU run, and it's so demotivating because running is no one's favorite thing to do. On top of that, it's cold. And no matter how cold it is, them SGLs is like, look, you're gonna get out here and do PT. And I don't think it's more so the SGLs. I think it just might be the first arm or like the Commandant or the design major or whoever is instructing them that they have to at least do accountability and PT because we're a schoolhouse, so of course you have to do the right thing at all times. Um, one of the things, so I have on my SLC class hoodie because that's another thing that went towards volunteering. Phoenix. Um, I have on my hoodie. I'll take a picture so you guys can see the back of what the hoodie looks like. But we have class t-shirts and class hoodies as well. Um, I'm advertising that. So if you have any questions, I'll get with my battle to see if he can give me the actual place that he went to to get our hoodies made. But for the most part, you have early mornings like 4 or 4.30. You have to be in formation by 5, uh, 5.15. Be formed up on the field by 5.20. The flag goes off at 5.30. PT usually lasts from 5.30 to 6.30. Um, sometimes it might run a little bit over to 7, but no later than 7.30 for the most part. Um, every day we're sitting in the classroom. We're going to the POI. There was a week when we had G-Army which I believe it was very beneficial for the students who have not been on G Army in a while, or like if they're in the S4 shop or if they're a recruiter or they're a drill sergeant. Um, there's going to be a lot of things that those guys don't know, gals and girls don't know, which is fine. I mean, they just raise their hand and ask questions. And the civilian that came to te teach us about G Army, he was really, um, he was really helpful. I appreciate him a lot. And he gave us all his content information. He gave us all the tools that we needed to download everything that we needed on disk, which I made to disk. Um, so I can take that to my unit and spread the wealth with some of my battle buddies back in my unit as well. And then in regards to the hotel, hotel, the hotel breakfast is Monday through Friday from 06 to 09. And then on Saturdays and Sundays, it is it starts at 0, 07 to 10 hundred hours. So if you guys want to eat breakfast, which we did for the most part every day, we did eat breakfast at the hotel, but we just went out to eat for lunch and, and dinner. Um, what else? I feel like I'm missing some stuff, but I really can't concentrate with Phoenix sitting right here in my lap. Uh, SLC is what you make it. You know, I felt like I was back at basic training. Back at boot camp, you guys. Like, I had to just stop and be like, huh? Like, is I, am I back at basic training? Like, what is going on? But then once you get your 1059 and you walk across the stage and you graduate, you just be like, oh my God, like I went through all of this. The, it's just, you guys, you guys, I mean, but at the end of the day, don't be nervous. Don't be scared. Um, I told y'all he was going to go to sleep. He came here to get in my lap to fall asleep while I'm making my video. And I don't want to start back over. So I'm going to post this one. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. Um, I'm also on Instagram and Facebook at Amelia G5587, Amelia Talks. Um, please look me up, comment on this video, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe. Please, you guys, please, you guys, subscribe. And let me know what you think. Peace out. Chucky got the sound switch.